My name is John Whiteman, I'm from the University of Wyoming, and I'm out here on the Arctic Tundra with Polar Bears International to talk about my favorite animal, the polar bear. Let's do some numbers. Polar bears are big animals. When they're standing on all four legs, they're going to be about a meter and a half tall, which is much taller than your average fourth grader. I'm in fourth grade! When they're up on their hind legs, they can be almost four meters tall, which would make them tall enough to be able to dunk a basketball. Polar bears are really big animals, and they're a dimorphic species. That means that there's a big difference between the size of a male and the size of a female. Males can be about 500 kilograms, which, which is seven of me. me. And females are about 300 kilograms, which, which is four of me. me. And the very biggest bears, the biggest males, they're 800 kilograms, which, which is 12 of me. me. That's, That's a whole soccer team, team plus a coach. Newborn polar bears can be tiny. They might only weigh 600 or 700 grams. That's probably less than a house cat. But polar bears grow really fast. By the time they're eight months old, they might weigh as much as 90 kilograms. That means in the first eight months of their life, they've grown 90 times their original size. They've grown from the size of a house cat to be bigger than I am. One of the reasons that polar bear cubs can grow so fast is that the milk they're getting from their mom can be over 30% fat. That's compared to cow milk, which might only be 4% fat, and that's what you and I drink. The annual movements of polar bears are what makes up their home range. That's the place where they spend their whole year. And that really varies around the Arctic as well. In some places, they might only move around about 1,000 square kilometers during the whole course of the year. In other places, they can move over half a million square kilometers. That's a lot of space. Some of those polar bears that cover a lot of distance in a year can walk over huge areas. For example, there was one polar bear that got a radio tag. It walked all the way from Alaska to Greenland, and then it walked back. Polar bears can be really good swimmers. And in fact, there's one study that found of all the females that they looked at in a population, almost half of them would swim every year at least once longer than 50 kilometers. Of these long swims that these female polar bears take, the average is even 160 kilometers, and it takes them four days. The longest swim was 690 kilometers, and it took her over nine days. Now that's a long swim. Even though polar bears are very at home in their water, their true home is on top of the sea ice because that's where they can catch a seal. And they need the seals to eat. That's why climate change is such a problem for polar bears, because it's reducing the amount of sea ice. The fact that polar bears are so at home in the water is just one of the many reasons that make them such an interesting animal. So I hope you can keep learning about them and maybe find out ways that you can make a difference in their life too.